All right, boys and girls, today I'm gonna make a video of my daily shenanigans. What am I doing today? I'm changing a motor on an exhaust fan, and I am doing some maintenance on a couple of large rooftops that serve a candle room inside a warehouse. Now what it is, is it's a large warehouse with a tarped off room that stores candles. So we gotta keep that room cool when the warehouse is hot so we don't lose the shape of the candles inside the container. Now, I don't usually make videos of my daily stuff, or I haven't in a while at least, but today I am. I'm feeling pumped. I got some good energy going. I tried a, um, a new coffee. It's called Bulletproof Coffee. I heard about it on a podcast. If you guys don't know about it, you can check it out. Basically, it's mold-free organic coffee. I don't know if this uh, coffee is mold-free. It doesn't state on it, but it's organic. I bought it. I grounded it up at the Whole Foods store. Um, MCT oil which I don't have, but I'm gonna pick up. I use coconut oil as an alternative and grass-fed organic butter. You put that in your coffee, you mix it around, you drink it, the healthy fats in there help give you energy along with the caffeine and the coffee, obviously. So I tried that, I drank it about a half an hour ago. I'm pumped, I feel ready to go. Let's get to some hvac and guys. Guys, it's hot as F today. Let's get hydrated up before we get on that roof. By the way, this is not a drain. So this is a pretty big, uh, massive warehouse. The walk from my truck to the two units I got to service today has got to be at least four football fields. So you don't want to forget anything at your truck, and trust me, I have. And it's a pain in the ass when you do. Okay, so these two units have four compressors. And if you can see closely, that suction line is sweating nicely. And if you look in, each compressor as a sweating suction line. Now would I put my gauges on in this case? No, I probably wouldn't because it looks to me that everything is doing what they should. It's kind of what I talk about on my podcast, the HVAC Sixth Sense. Now if you look up at the coils, you can see the coils are starting to get dirty. We're gonna have to give those a wash, get them all cleaned up. We have four condenser fans up here. We're gonna check the rotation on those. We're gonna check the blades, make sure there's no cracks. And we'll check the capacitors on them as well. So I don't know if you guys can pick this up in the video or not, but this condenser fan right here, it's got a serious wobble to it. If you look at the top of the shaft, you can kind of see it wobbling back and forth and it also has a bit of a tick. You can hear that tick every once in a while. So it looks like we're gonna have to get this motor changed out. We might have some bad motor bearings allowing that shaft to wobble back and forth. So one really important thing when you're doing maintenance on a rooftop unit, guys, is to pull the P-traps out and get rid of any sludge or slime that might be building up inside. Now you can see that is draining quite a bit of water and look at the amount of water that it's been draining over the last while. So. You can just imagine if that drain were to get clogged up, how much water we'd have inside the building. So get those cleaned out on your maintenances. So guys, we wanna check the belts, obviously. And this belt here looks pretty good. The other thing we wanna do is we wanna give these pulleys a feel inside. Just make sure we're not getting any ridges or bumps. All right, we'll do the same for the other side here. Now, what I like to do is I like to pull the belt off and I like to give the shaft a pull back and forth just to make sure the bearings are intact. You gotta pull the belt off for that. I've already checked that and we're good there. These bearings have also been greased. We got bearings on the blower side and we got bearings on the motor as well. That need to be greased. We gotta give that a wipe off with a rag. 
just so we don't leave behind that remnants. Now one other thing that is good to do is to check down into the blower wheel. Just give it a spin, make sure we don't have any debris caught on there because even the smallest bit of debris can send the fan off balance. So we want to check that as well. So guys, when it comes to um, visually checking electrical, it's key during a maintenance. Okay, the other thing that's key is to check the electrical connections. Now I have the cover pulled off of this contactor and you want to check for pitting, you want to check for excessive carbon buildup. And we got to do that to all of them. But visual inspection is key. You see anything, it's melted, burnt, loose, something to be rectified right away on our maintenance. Now this contraption here, that's a reliable controls mock zone. That's tied into the BAS and through a centralized computer we can control this entire unit. This reliable controls controller will talk to the controller in the rooftop unit, tell it what to do. We can, we can um, actually control and monitor this remotely off-site as well, which is a pretty cool handy feature to have um, when you have issues with a building. You can log in, you can check things out before you go on site and maybe get an indication of what might be wrong. Now you can see how dirty that filter is. That's a warehouse environment. Even black on the back. All right, so we got our economizer section as well. So the way this works is we have some fresh air that comes in here filtered. And if we want to add fresh air to the building, these dampers will open. If you come to the back side of this, the dampers there, those are the return air dampers, these are the fresh air dampers. They work in conjunction with each other. So if those return air dampers start to close, the fresh air dampers will start to open. And that is done with this Honeywell actuator. See all my filters in there. One thing that I try to do, um, and I know that's hard in residential to do this, but I try to have the pleats in the vertical up and down position rather than horizontal. Now when you do that, you actually create more strength this way than you do if the filter pleats are this way because when they're horizontal the filter can actually collapse onto itself so this is the best way to do it where you can so that's pretty much it for this rooftop guys I'm gonna get that motor changed we're gonna get those coils cleaned 
we're off to the races. So it's a bit of a windy day here, so forgive me if my voice is a bit muffled, but I'm going to show you how these windings, got the meter set to ohms. I'm going to show you how these windings are opened up. Open line. Open line. If you guys notice, I'm trying not to touch the wires with my hands because the moisture from your hands can actually give a reading through the meter and it can give you a false reading. So try not to touch the meter leads with your hand. So we're open on all three, all three legs there. So this motor is done. So guys, I couldn't finish that motor because I got a service call. Um, this Honeywell Pro 1000 it was the stat that was causing the issue um, with the fan coil. It's got an actuator, a fan, and a coil. The, the air blows through, across the uh, the fan coil, blows the cold air into the room. The stat has gone kaput, so I'll have to change that motor tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until I get back and change it. Happy H-Vacking.